What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhyme Style here. Today, I'm joined by Geek Div for some Dragon Ball talk. Not just Dragon Ball Super, not playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse, although you see it in the background. We're talking about Dragon Ball. Now, Geek Div, there is a, kind of a huge rumor that's been going around the community, and yes, it's a rumor. Do you want to kind of break down that rumor first before we get into the actual facts of what's at hand? And so we can kind of like uh, calm the fire, calm the calm, because people are kind of freaking out over the wrong reason. What happened? Of course. This is like a weekly thing now. So here's what happened. So our boy Toyotaro was at a convention in Italy. Dragon Ball Italia uh, was the was actually there, which is an Italian Dragon Ball Twitter page that's run by fans. And uh -huh. they dropped the information first, and then other news sources got it. That Toyotaro stated that Dragon Ball Super will not exceed the end of Z and that he's preparing for the end of Z. Now, as a result of these statements, um, it's led many people to believe. Now, again, I don't really know much about Dragon Ball Italia, so I don't really know how their translators are. So this is all hearsay from them. Also, Govita XV said the same thing or something similar. But basically, now people are believing that Dragon Ball Super is going to be ending soon. And. That's the big misconception. Now, as far as Dragon Ball Super not exceeding the end of Z, what they're referring to is that Dragon Ball Super currently takes place during the 10-year time skip in between the death of Kid Buu and the arrival of Oob and the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament. That's the end of the series, Dragon Ball Z episodes 289 to 291. Go watch them if you haven't seen them yet, or if you haven't seen them in a long time. So, the story of Dragon Ball Super is in between that. And the story now from this Toyotaro interview is that he's saying that they're preparing to not write over it. In other words, people were asking for several, several months now, is Super going to retcon the end of Z? Is it going to write over the end of Z? And according to Toyotaro, the answer is no. The Goku going to the tournament meeting Oob flying away, that's still going to happen. But as a result of this, people are misconstruing the information to think it means that Super is going to end like tomorrow, which is not the case at all. No. The first biggest clue is the Dragon Room. So, to those who don't know what the Dragon Room is and why it's important, Dragon Room was established, was it last August, I want to say? Do you remember uh, when it last came out? year? It was, I think it was like last August or last October. I forget which one. I think it was like yeah. one of those two. Sometimes last year, and we all reported on it, but I feel like because Dragon Room isn't something that's like, you know, a game or a toy or merchandise, or whatever, it kind of flew over people's heads. Do you want to briefly summarize what the Dragon Room is and why it's important? It's pretty much the Toei version of the Lucasfilm story group that writes Star Wars. It's a group of writers that were hired by Shueisha and Toei to write stories about Dragon Ball. That's pretty much what it is. So when Toriyama steps down, when he fully retires, people are still going to write about Dragon Ball. And that's one thing I want to hammer home about this whole thing. You have to understand, Toyotaro is not in control of Dragon Ball Super. He's doing the manga. He's doing the manga, and he was commissioned to do it by Shueisha and by Toei. If he stops doing the manga, Super the anime may still continue. Even if Toriyama decides to stop, Toei can still continue because they have the rights to the anime, which is why Dragon Ball GT existed. The manga originally ended in 95, then GT would continue. Now, I'm not saying that if Toriyama steps down, that Super will become like GT because the writers that we have now in Toei are completely different than the ones that were around back then. So don't expect it to be a, a, the same product as GT. But what I'm trying to hammer home is that just because Toriyama or Toyotaro are not involved does not mean Dragon Ball is going to end. They're going to keep pumping out content as long as it makes money. And we have yeah. data here yeah. <laughs> that proves that this thing ain't going to end anytime soon, bro. Yeah. For money, Dragon Ball... You, you I was going to say money talks. <laughs> And and especially Dragon for Ball, Toei. Yeah, and Dragon Ball hasn't stopped making money since the series ended. In fact, you know, as you can see on the screen right now, this is the reports that came out in the past uh, couple of weeks now. And as you can see, in 2015, that's when Resurrection F came out. They made 19.4 billion yen, which is how much do you... Well, you, we know how much 45 is. Uh, 19.4 billion yen. Now, uh, later in uh, 2016, they made 16 billion yen, which is a little bit less just because of the movie coming out in uh, 2015. And then uh, in freaking... 2017, it's already made 19.8 billion yen with a projection of making 45 billion yen. Geekdom, yeah. how much is 45 billion yen in dollars? 45 billion yen is 402 million, 292,350 million dollars. So that's a lot of freaking money. And as long as Toei keeps cranking out content, and by yeah. the way, this also includes Bandai too. See, people have to understand behind the scenes the power of Toei and Bandai. They're both married to each other as far as putting this thing together same thing with shueisha and shonen jump and v jump so uh, it's everything combined 
402 million. Um, that's a lot of freaking money. Ending the series where it's at right now. And this is regardless of whether or not you like Super, it's irrelevant at this point. Not only that, but Dragon Ball Super well, is speaking, always. I'm glad you brought up liking Super because you also have information about the ratings. You want to bring those up? Well, I was just going to say, yeah, I was, just, I, was, I was getting to. Dragon Ball Super, no matter what, the ratings are always in the top five every single week. Every week, Super's in the top five. In Japan, usually, not every time, but usually when you have an ongoing series like this, it only ends when it dips in popularity. Super has not dipped in popularity anywhere close to it being enough to it justify it stopping. It's doing like a 5.5 average share. It was doing a 6 average during the uh, preliminaries for the tournament. Uh, pro we predict that it probably can go up to a 6.5 or even a 7, maybe even more than that during the actual Universe Survival Tournament. So, it's... No, dude. It's making too much money, logically. Like I said, Toyo Taro talks a lot. Doesn't really mean it's true, but but I want to also want to say one more thing to hammer this home. Even if Super does end with Goku meeting Oob, there are still three years left in the timeline. Right now, we're at age 781. Goku does not meet Oob until 784. So they've got three years now to fill if they were going to do yep. that. I also so have something very go. important to toss out there as well. Oda, the creator of One Piece, I believe either last year or two years ago, it feels like he said it recently, uh, let's say the last couple years, said that uh, there's over 10 years of One Piece still left. However, he also said the story of One Piece was like 60% or 70% of the way through. I forgot what the actual numbers were. If you know that actual article, you can correct me in the comments. But basically, he said uh, the story for One Piece is like more than halfway done. But then also said that there's 10 years left in the series. So with Toyotaro saying something like, oh, they're getting close to the part where basically Z ends and, you know, Goku meets Ubu and flies off. Yeah, they could be there, but it could also take two or three years to even get to that point. For all we know, the... I doubt this is true, but this is just me being kind of ridiculous. For all we know, the uh, Universe survival, survival arc could last damn near like two years or a year. I mean, well, not really, but you get what I'm that, saying. Like, yeah, well, and the, probably, probably at least most of this year because the fight is like, what, 48 hours? And they could really do a lot with that. Plus, you know, it's just a small time frame. You know, don't forget the Boo Saga. The Boo Saga from Grey Saiyan Man to the death of Kid Boo is 86 episodes. And that's three days. Three days, 86 <laughs> episodes. So don't forget that forget. time is irrelevant here. Yeah, let's not forget Freeze's five minutes, which was like a four-hour fight. The point is... Exactly. Is, is, and is, I still I still want to say one more thing. I still believe, even if Toro Taro said this, that, again, it's not up to him. If Toei wants to move past the end of Z, if they want yeah. to tell a story in 200 years in the future like Dragon Ball Online... They're going to do it because the numbers speak for themselves. They're, they're not going to not make money, bro. They are, this is a business, and they have to run yeah. it, and they got to make money. And the other thing is, is there's also so much more that still needs to be addressed in a series. I mean, uh, one of the things that Toriyama said, that he has, he has no plans in Goku and Vegeta surpassing Beerus. I feel like when we get to the point where Goku and Vegeta surpass Beerus, that in itself will be an arc. Like, that should be an arc. You know, there's a bunch of stuff, like, uh, that's still left untouched. And until all that is addressed, we have nothing to worry about. And as you said, it's three years left still technically in the timeline, and a lot can happen. And the other one is they could always go past Z. Yeah, Toro Taro yeah, said they're getting I close think to Z. Taro, I think what he meant was that they were not going to erase the end of Z. That's what I think he's talking about because that's been a frequently asked question by everybody yeah. if they were going to do that. That's what I think he was trying to make clear to everyone. Yeah, I mean, I, and on top of it, like, like you said, with the Dragon Room established, if Toro Taro's gone, if Toriyama's gone one day, they're still going to keep the story going. And don't worry, it won't be like GT, because, again, GT had different kind of got riders. different these riders, riders, yeah. Are way exactly. more experienced these days, and, like, they know what they're doing. Dragon Ball is not ending anytime soon. <laughs> it is not. No, and also, not just that, but also the games, Dokkan, yeah. uh, Bandai Namco is always going to make money on those. It's just, it's it's a machine right now. If it does end, then it it's going to end, but I want to make clear Toyotaro never said it was ending soon. He, the, that word never came out of his mouth. He just said, we're preparing for the end of Z. And what that meant to me is the birth of Pan and, and Bola and, you know, all that stuff. Um, maybe he's already figuring out how to write out the god forms or change the god forms or whatever. Who knows? We already see Vegeta in a black tank top in the intro of the series. Vegeta, of course, wore a, blank tank, a black tank top at the end of the series of, of Dragon Ball Z. So maybe that's what he's talking about. But I don't think that necessarily means that there's not a lot of story left. We'll see. And the other thing is, is if uh, Super does end up ending, uh, let's say in the next two or three years, which is inevitable, it's going to end one day. When it, it will when, end someday. Yeah, when it ends, they'll have something else. I mean, I know something that they, that Bandai has been trying to explore is like the uh, 
the Dragon Ball Heroes uh, anime, which for some reason they, they have a bunch of clashing stuff with it. But for all we know, it could come out one day. Like So to the people who are fans of Dragon Ball, it's not going away anytime soon. Dragon Ball Super is not going to end anytime soon. Uh, the only time you have to really worry is when Bandai releases their annual earnings and you see that number dropping. When you see the ratings every single week on Dragon Ball Super dropping, that's when you worry. <laughs> and right that's now, right. The, the ratings, as Geekdom said, they're like in the top five. People are watching it. And it's, it's getting in the top better five better. every week since it started. Yeah, just wait until the Universal Survival Arc starts. <laughs> like the actual tournament. When the tournament yeah. starts, the fighting is going to bring up ratings higher than ever before. And like I said, it's projected to make 45 billion yen this year. <laughs> and yeah. let's not forget about Dokkan. Who didn't even talk about Dokkan? Dokkan has made so much money. It, this, the game itself has over 150 million downloads for a mobile game. And, and the, don't forget how yeah. long other shows have been running, like Naruto, like One Piece. There are various One Piece movies. Uh, we probably will get more Dragon Ball theatrical films in the future. Oh, yeah. So there's, I, there's I still a lot will. of stuff they haven't even explored yet. Yeah. With that said, if you see news media articles, videos, you know, reports, everything, don't freak out. Uh, until we have more information, we don't really know what's going on. But the, the, the statistics say that Dragon Ball is going to be around for a long time. It's set to make a lot of money. There's so many more games coming out. Uh, in fact, it's May, and I'm pretty sure they're going to get ready to announce something else soon in the near future because they always announce new games around May. Uh, there's, there's a lot planned. And with that said, you know, Dragon Ball is going to last a long time. I mean, it already lasted a long time. It's been around since the freaking, what, 80s? 86? Is that when it first came out? 1984 is when the manga came 84. out. 86 is when the anime came out. Yep. So, yeah. So, it's going to be around here for a long time, so you got nothing it, to worry it, about. It'll eventually go away, take a break, and come back again. I mean, it's inevitable, but as of right now, like I, like we talked about, if Toei starts losing money on it, or not losing money, but making less money, they uh -huh. would have to have a replacement. They would have to have a show that is so freaking hot like, and One Piece is going to be their big thing for right now, but they're going to have to have a show that's so freaking hot that it's worth getting rid of Dragon Ball for, and it's just not going to happen. Or, of course, knock on wood, if a tragedy were to occur to a voice actor, then I yeah. can see them ending it. But That, that could be bad. <laughs> people must live protect, forever in Japan, bro. We, we must protect Nozawa at all costs. <laughs> yes, we must. With that all said, them, everyone. I guess the question we want to ask before we end the video, uh, which I was hoping to be a lot shorter, but we went kind of long. Um, and the question I want to ask you guys is, if we get to the point where we get to the oob stuff, would you guys rather see an oob arc, or would you guys rather see Super keep doing stuff in between and then actually end where Z ended, and then leave the yeah, story Yeah, there, there, there is no confirmed oob arc right now. Yeah, there's uh, nothing confirmed. People are yeah. speculating, but there's no confirmed oob arc at all. As far as we know, Goku will meet oob exactly the same way as he did. It was teasing Dragon Ball Super episode, what, 86, I think it was? It was um, teased several times before now. Yeah, third episode, third episode 86 specifically, but it's just they're tying it in. That's what Toro was saying. They're tying it in because they're not going to write over the series. Are there inconsistencies based on the original manga? Yes, but they might be able to fix those. We'll see. Yeah. With that said, let us know your thoughts and everything we discussed. Uh, again, the stats are here. The information's here. The ratings here. The, the sales are here. It's not going away anytime soon. But if it does, they'll replace it with something else. So I guess let's talk about it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day slash night. This has been Geekdom and Rhyme Style. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the comment section below.